Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How Tos. I forgot to add the requirements part in front of this video, so I'm doing that now. And basically, the requirements are you want to have vectoring, A and I, two digits, routing as yes, and that's a licensed item. Um, if you don't have it, contact your business partner or Avaya and see about getting that turned on. I uh, can't tell you how much it is because I just don't know um, because it always changes. But uh, see if you can get that turned on uh, via license, and you'd be good to go to take uh, to do vector routing tables and a number of other things. <laughs> but let's get on with it. Hey guys, CJ here, PBX How To's uh, talk today about <clears throat> vector routing tables and how these work are essentially a routing table to check for ANI digits or you know caller ID information that comes in. So let's say you have a campaign in California and California has a lot of area codes. You could create a vector routing table that says if anybody calls from California, send them to this vector, send them to this phone number, do something with it, right? Everything else, send somewhere else or do something else, all right? So let's let's get this underway. Uh, and first things first, check to see if you have any VRTs. I do not. So I'm going to add one because it's add, not change. I know it's kind of confusing because vectors you change even though they're in the system. So we're going to say this. We're going to say PBXHT. we go down here. I'm going to say 412 plus. So anything in 412, send to this, you know, do something with it. I can also add specific phone numbers in here if I want. I can also add other wild cards. Um, but we're just going to do 412 for now so you can see how this works. All right, so we added VRT. And you can see down here that I've already added a couple announcements. Basically, one says you are in 412. One says you are not in 412. All right, so I'm going to change vector 13. And we're going to say check for 412. All right, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say go to step, and I'll just put 10. Why not? If digits oops i'm sorry a and i not digits if a and i in table 13 and that says if you see anything in this table 13 go to step 10 all right then i'm going to say go to step 7 if unconditional which basically means if it if if it does not have 412 in this area code or in this table go to step seven which i can make whatever i want all right then three it doesn't really matter uh let's see let's see let's see i'm gonna go down to step 10 and i'm gonna say disconnect after announcement what did i say that one was oh that one is 412 so let's do 3113 and go to step seven if unconditional and i'm gonna say disconnect after announcement 3114 which basically says you know if if you're not in 412 uh go here if you are go here all right so i'm gonna submit this display vector uh one three all right so <coughs> yes i said so again change vdn and I'm going to hide this because this is my real phone number. PBX out twos, go to vector 13, say OK, list trace uh, vector 13. And now I'm going to call it. All right. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Now listen up if it rings. Rings. We're calling for 412 area code. Okay, as you can see, I called for my cell phone, which is a 412 area code, and it works because it saw the ANI is the first three that I have in table 13. It says you are calling from 412. All right, that's how easy ve uh, vector routing tables can be. It gives you a little bit more leverage when you want to uh, capture certain area codes and do something with them. Let's say you have an emergency management system and there's a snowstorm in Pittsburgh and you can tell anybody that calls in from Pittsburgh, let's say you have a remote office there or you have a, a you know, something, your customers there, they can call there and say, you know, sorry, we're not sending any technicians out to your sites because there's a major snowstorm. Uh, please leave your message after the tone and we'll get back to you and you can send it to messaging. You can do whatever you want with it. All right, so quick review. I added Vector routing table 13, and I have a 412 in here, so it accepts anything from that 412. And in my vector, I said, if it sees it, send it here and do something with it. All right? 
Hope you guys like this quick and easy uh, vector, uh, what do you call it, tutorial. <laughs> and I plan to do more, so keep staying tuned and uh, keep watching. I appreciate it. Talk to you all later. Bye.